Let's move on to the so-called strong mayor ballot question. This is perhaps one of the lesser known proposals before Minneapolis voters. It would change the city's form of government and clearly define the mayor as the city's chief executive and the city council as the legislative and policy making body. The executive committee that oversees city department heads would be eliminated. We'll start with Kate Knuth this time. Please answer just yes or no to start. Do you support charter amendment number one. No. Mayor Fry, yes or no, how do you vote? Yes. Uh, AJ Awed, yes or no? Yes. And Sheila Najad, how do you vote, yes or no? No. Okay, thank you. Uh, Kate Knuth, you said no. The city of St. Paul has a similar structure as the proposal in the language, and the executive legislative model exists at the state and federal level. Why shouldn't Minneapolis do the same? You know, I am not convinced Minneapolis needs a strong mayor ch uh, charter amendment. I am absolutely convinced that we need stronger more effective leadership in the office of the mayor itself. And over the last four years, we haven't had it, especially over the last 18 months. And we have felt what it feels like to not have strong mayoral leadership while we are going through crisis. And it feels lousy. It leaves us swirling. It leaves us divided and fearful. And I think Minneapolis residents are united in our path forward to move beyond the status quo of public safety and policing. And one of the most foundational things we need to do in that work is build trust across the geography, across lines of race and generation, and putting more power in the hands of the mayor at this crucial moment, I think undermines our ability to do that. Mayor Fry, you said you support question one. And in a charter commission report summarizing interviews with city department heads, some of those officials positively described the current structure as requiring collaboration and compromise between the mayor and the council. How do you maintain that with having more executive authority under this plan? Well, the vast majority of department heads that were interviewed during that very process you brought up talked about the system being disjointed. They talked about it lacking clarity. And they talked about being told what to do by 14 different people at the same time. That is a structure that simply doesn't work. Now, some mayors going all the way back to Hubert Humphrey have argued in a change in our system to allow for a clear executive in the mayor that would control day-to-day -day functions, a clear legislative branch in the city council that would deliberate, listen to experts and data, do constituent services and pass laws. But the system that we have is gray and as, am, and as, <coughs> and big, and has, been, as has been noted, uh, mid and large cities throughout the country have a system that works. St. Paul has a clear executive in the mayor. We do not, and it leads to disjoint. Let's pass uh, a charter amendment that at the very least provides clarity to both residents and department heads throughout our city. Mr. Awed, I'll pose the same question to you. How would you maintain collaboration between the mayor's office and city council should question one, which you support, pass? Yeah, I mean, I think I think a uh, strong mayor uh, in line with the traditional role of all mayors throughout this country's job is to build great working partnerships with the city council. But as the mayor said, the city council is a legislative body. Um, and that is just not the precedence in how they operate in the city right now. And for me, I think this is a little bit more personal to me as I understand that the racial disparities in the city are the worst, second worst in this country. And I think there's a fair argument to make that if we really do want to have these equities addressed in a meaningful way, that we do need to depart from this, I think, archaic structure that is an experimentation for all intended purposes throughout this country. And for me, I'm looking to do that work, and I cannot do that work in the, in the current structure. I want to be able to be a voice for communities of color in the broader city at large. I want to be able to do and advance those things that everybody's promoting, but the current structure just does not allow for that. And finally, Ms. Najad, since you said no, please again explain why Minneapolis should keep its current form of government when other cities in Minnesota and the state and federal government mirror this executive legislative approach detailed in the ballot question. Thank you. I'm voting no because I have serious equity concerns about voter representation 
between citywide votes and different parts of the city, there are huge disparities in voter turnout in who elects the mayor. I do agree, however, that there is a problem to be solved. And as mayor, I would invest more in constituent services at the ward level to be able to provide equitable service and make sure that department staff can stay on the work of their departments. All right, thank you very much.